This morning, the two Americans who survived a kidnapping in Mexico are back in the U.S., arriving in a convoy of ambulances, SUVs, and military trucks. A three-day search for them ending at this shack outside of Matamoros, Mexico. Officials say it's where they found the two who were killed and two survivors. A mother of five, Latavia Tay McGee, was found alive, according to her mother. I had to hold my heart. I was thanking the Lord. I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, there is a God. She says her daughter has no major injuries, telling us earlier that she had urged her not to travel to Mexico for cosmetic surgery. Also rescued, Eric James Williams. His wife says he was shot three times in the legs and is hospitalized in Texas. I just, I, I didn't even want to imagine what, what he was going through or, you know, what any of them were going through. The brutal kidnapping was caught on camera. The four traveled from South Carolina on Friday, and when they crossed into Matamoros, gunmen chased them, opening fire on their white minivan. The other two members of the group, Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown, were killed during the attack. Mexican officials say this was a case of mistaken identity. A source close to the investigation tells ABC News that investigators believe the gunmen may have targeted the vehicle because they wrongly believed the group of Americans were rival human traffickers. We will continue to work closely with the Mexican government to ensure justice is done in this case. The city where this happened is right across the border from Brownsville, Texas, an area that's plagued by drug cartel violence. The State Department has issued its highest level do not travel warning for the region. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Washington.